Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we will be talking about the V-Ray material library that is present in V-Ray 5 and the V-Ray material editor. Okay, without any further ado, let's get started. The first thing is that where can you find the material library? Okay, in folders actually a lot of people are searching for that. If you go to my documents, you can see I have the V-Ray material library folder here and it is containing not only the thumbnails, okay, so all of these folders are thumbnails, but if you go to the assets, so these are actually the materials that we have with the material library. All right. Um, a, a common question at the moment is that, can we download this offline? Well, the answer is no, you cannot download this material library offline. You have to be online. Okay. All right, so let's head over to 3ds Max and see the things in action. If I want to open up the material library, I have to click on this icon if I click that, you can see on the left side, I have a whole bunch of materials ranging from bricks, concrete, liquid, plastics, metals, I mean, you name it. There are approximately 500 materials here. And according to the Chaos Group, they are going to add more in the next coming update. Okay, so stay tuned for that one. Let's say I have a ball here and I want to apply the material. Well, what are the options that I have? I click on this object. I can apply the real world scale. Okay, and let's say I go to any material, I, let's say I go to foam, and not only I want to apply here, but I can also open the material editor upon applying the material. I click on that one. Let's say that I want to apply this material. If I right click, I can add selected objects. So it will not only apply the material to my object, but it will also populate my material editor slot. All right, so it's open here. Now, before we go to material editor, let's look further into material asset browser. If I right click, I can preview the material and the materials preview, they look much nicer, not only here, but also in the material editor as well. As you can see that I can also add to favorites. So let's say there are a couple of materials that are loved the most, I can just directly add them to the favorites. All right, so they'll come here. I can also search the materials here. I can search for bricks. I can search for plastic. Okay, so you can basically search the different materials. Now you might be thinking, how can you add your own materials into the material library? Well, according to the Chaos Group, they are working on a script and right now this might be available on their website as well. So you can download from there. It will not only add the material to the material library, but it will also generate a uh, custom thumbnail looking just like this for you guys. All right, so that's it for the asset browser. Let's head over to the material editor. Hit M on your keyboard. If you open up the material editor, so if you select any material, you can see that now we have the presets for all the commonly found materials here, right here. So gold, iron, glass, water, plastic, rubber, I mean, you name it. And if I select any of the presets, you can see that it will automatically fill up all of the values so that, so that I don't have to Google uh, the different parameters, for example, the index of refraction or the uh, how much reflective the material is. I mean, you name it, there are a lot of things here. Okay. Uh, I want to show you one really good material that is added, and that is the Carpent 2. And the good thing about the Carpent 2 is that as compared to the previous Carpent 1, it is much more realistic and it takes less time while rendering as well. Okay, there are two more features I would like to show in the material editor. And they are, if you go down, they are the code parameters and they're the sheen parameters. Now, what are the uses? I think you know it by name. Anyway, let me show you the pictures. You see, this is the picture of uh, fabric. And previously, in order to produce this kind of fabric, you were using the fall of material all right so right now you don't have to use any falloff and the parameters are generated automatically within the material editor so everything is right here you don't have to apply any follow material just change these parameters and you'll be good to go same goes for the next picture and that is the coat material if you want to produce any of the materials with a reflective coating for example the plastics or uh, the varnish wood or the 
even the carpet without the flakes, you can use this material. Previously, in order to produce these materials, you were using the material uh, that was very blend material. Now you don't have to use that anymore. Okay, the parameters are already in the material editor. You just have to use them. And just like other materials, just like Carpin 2 and the sheen, it will also render much faster. All right, gentlemen, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, this was all for today. Uh, in the next video, we'll be talking about some of the other features. And uh, there are actually a lot more features in VRA 5 that you should be looking out. Okay, and we'll be discussing them in the future videos. Thank you so much. Have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next one.